Hey, let's cover the Fusion Surface command called ruled. One huge advantage to this is the ability to control the draft or the angle in which it's adding this new surface body. How does this work? So if you go up to your surface toolbar, come down to ruled, you can use the ruled command on existing sketches, surface bodies or solid body. Selecting this non-planar curved surface, I now can choose to add a new surface body. It will be added to your body's folder here that you can then knit in or stitch together later. But we're gonna choose from our options. First thing you need to understand are the three types with normal, tangent, and direction. Normal is gonna be 90 degrees or normal to the selected face or edge. It comes off at 90 degrees from this existing face. We don't have an angle applied yet. We simply have a distance and it's applying this 27 millimeters out from this edge. If we then switch to tangent, it's going to be an extension of the face that you selected. And so if we then change the angle, it's gonna be coming from this reference face, a 21 degree change from the existing reference face. Direction, you're gonna click it and nothing's gonna happen because you haven't selected the direction reference that it needs. And this is where you can select a linear edge, construction plane, or an existing axis. Selecting this plane, it applies this direction normal to this plane going up and that is solvable. If we choose a direction axis like this one, it's not able to solve it because of the conflicts that it's getting when it's coming out at this angle. So is there going to be a difference between tangent and normal? There is in just the reference angle in which it starts. So if I choose tangent and I bring it up and get it to my desired depth and angle, inward draft, and this is where I can just adjust the angle to get what I need. And so now if I choose normal and go to 124 degrees, this is getting me closer to what I just had with tangency. What happens when you're doing a ruled surface off of sharp corners? In this case, we have a rectangular shape and I choose this edge, we're coming up at an angle, shift it off to this direction. You can see that it's rounding these sharp corners. And you do have a choice here. You can choose this mitered corners option. This will keep it to that original design intent with these sharp corners with an extension of that. Next, let's extend some surfaces going off at an angle here. Right click, hit repeat, and we can continue to add surface bodies very quickly using this tool without having to do any additional sketching. Now you might ask in the ruled surface, how come when I select this edge, it's grabbing all of them and applying all of these surfaces? Maybe I don't want that. Be aware of the chain selection checkbox. If you uncheck this, now when you go to select it, it will allow you to just select this one edge, allowing me to add this ruled surface at whatever depth and angle that I want and adding a new surface body. For direction, I'm gonna choose this axis. It's now going up and then we can still apply the correct angle that we want, but it is at zero degrees. I do need to apply a distance in order for this to solve. And now I've got a surface body applied using the direction command. One thing you wanna be aware of with these ruled surfaces, like I mentioned before, over in the surface bodies, you're gonna have a series of surface bodies. In order for this to behave as one and to trim as one, you're going to need to knit it together or stitch it together. Click the stitch command and choose those adjoining surfaces. Click OK and you've got one surface body if the gaps in between are not too great for the fusion solver to create those surfaces. Hey, I hope this introduction into the fusion ruled surface command was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.